to come pick me up. They could decide to assassinate me. But I'm ready because I don't want to live as a slave. I'm not free. Freedom is the whole essence of humanity. Freedom. Yeah. We are not free. And we want our freedom now. I'm saying to the youths of Nigeria, Faust the bad guy, Aisha Yesufu, come together. Youth from the six geopolitical zones. Let's talk about it. Can we can we do it together? We want to we, we want to go separate ways. If we're going in separate ways, let the Igbos and the Yorubas come together and fight whoever is our enemy. Together. This is not the time to be tribal. If the outsiders want to stay with us, let them come and let us face the main enemy, which is the heads of government. What have we done? We've done nothing wrong but to be born in Nigeria. Our passport is... Donald Trump called Nigeria a shithole. Imagine that. Is it his fault? No. It's what he saw. Yeah, now exactly. Now he looked like... Now Donald Trump looked like a genius for saying that. You know? Everybody knows... Everybody knows what he said was wrong. But in the real sense of it, looking at what's going on in Nigeria today, does he happen in the proper place? Should that happen under, under normal circumstances? Should soldiers... Now, look at what they're doing. Soldiers went and killed people. The government is saying they didn't know nothing about it. The government is not even saying anything about it. How, how, how callous and aloof can a governor be or a president be? They've killed your people and you didn't come out to say a word about it. Meaning, listen, you people, we're going to kill you until you shut up. But they've killed so much already. So what is their death in vain? Would it be in vain? To what end and to what purpose? Why did we step out in the first place if we knew we weren't going to see this truth? Why did we step out to protest knowing the kind of tyrannical that we knew from the start? The day we stepped out, we knew they were going to pull the trigger. We knew. It was just a matter of time. It was just a matter of time. My heart bleeds for the people that have been killed. I have family in Nigeria. My heart bleeds that that situation. I've been in a situation of war. That when I was serving in Kafanchan in 20, 2012, when I was serving, Buhari came to campaign in Kafanchan. There was violence. Violence trails that person. Violence trails Muhammad Buhari. Violence goes with him. I was in a situation of war for over two weeks in Kaduna. I know what people are going through. Houses were burned. People were killed. I saw dead bodies on the road in Nigeria. Nigeria is so te technologically advanced in our minds, but our government keeps setting us back. Our government keeps setting us back. The people already are, are, we are, we are, we are out there in the world. We've conquered the world, but the government, government will let us be great. We need help. We need help to fight back. We're not going to leave them in charge. It is not possible. That means we're going to live in slavery forever. Forever and ever and ever. So who determines, I mean, if, if the United, can the United Nations make a move on that? The United Nations, through history, has never been able to do anything for anybody. Trust me on that. It's a diplomatic mission. It's diplomacy. You want to be diplomatic with a slave master? They're going to cut, they're going to cut deals. They're going to say, okay, we're going to do this, we're going to do this. They're not going to do shit. America is not going to come. America has a split full. So who's going to come? Nobody. This, a wise man once said, Nigerians are the ones that are going to free themselves. Nigerians are the ones. Nigeria, we are the ones that are going to free ourselves. Nobody. You know why? When we win this victory, when we win this battle, we are going to emerge as world power someday. Because we have it in us. Africa is the future of the world and it starts from Nigeria. I swear to God. Over time, we've seen the empires change down. Rome has ruled. Egypt has ruled. America is ruling. China is there. One day will be Africa's turn again. Nigeria is the spirit of that revolution. We are done with this government. This government has offered us nothing but pain and sorrow and sufferings and killings. I lost my sister to the dirty healthcare of the Nigerian government. For, through childbirth. She wasn't supposed to die. We've lost so many people for no damn reason, Michael. No damn reason. What does it cost to build one good hospital? We do not have one good hospital in the whole of Nigeria that has 200 million people. Not one. I know. I, I did not know Nigeria. I didn't know it was that people. bad. I thought Nigeria was like one of the top countries in Africa. I didn't know it was that bad. The people are great. 
That's why people think we are the biggest. Because the people individually, we excel. But the government is a mess. The government was... Listen, Nigeria has always been in the hands of colonialists. Even when the white colonialists left, they handed over to people and gave them their playbook. And gave them their playbook. They've been ruling us for so long. They've been ruling us with an iron hand for so long. Imagine, someone came out, Kumasi came out and said, he doesn't blame Buhari, that GP, people should have, they should have struck us down. Imagine, he was comparing to Putin, the president of Russia, a repressive and communist society. How can you compare a democracy to that? You see the mindset of our leaders? Comparing a democracy, imagine Trump comparing America to Russia, a democratic nation to a dictatorship, they are not going to give us power. They are never going to make us happy. They've messed up so much, they can't even fix it. The only way is to make sure we never find out. And they're going to, do you know what people do when they don't want you to find out? They're going to try and they're going to kill. But we cannot relent. They've killed us already. They've killed us already. So we want to go home now? Why didn't we go home before they started killing us? Why didn't we stop the protest when they imposed the coffee? We stayed. So now, so, so, do, do, do we just want to die for no reason? No way. Michael, the only help we need from the world is for the world to be behind the youth of Nigeria. We don't need anybody to meddle and keep peace. It's not a peacekeeping mission. It's a takeover from the, from the old government. This is, this is a spiritual revolution. It's more than what meets the eye. It's a groan for freedom. It's worse that appetite. Because when the white people are ruling, you know you're fighting the battle that is beyond you. But black people like you, you know how sad it is for a black person to look down on you? Somebody like you. Yeah, your own people. We are done. Michael, whatever you can do, whatever you are telling your celebrity friends, we need help. We don't need them to meddle. We need them to support the movement. Support. We want this government out. That is the only thing we want. We don't want anything else but the government out. We want them to hand over, create a transition committee and hand over. We want free and fair elections for the youth. The youth need to rule now. They've been ruling us. People started ruling us at 21 and they are ruling at 80. 80 years old. Been ruling us since they were 21. They took power by force when they were in the army. They took power by force. Nigerians have never had a say in the affairs of Nigeria. Never, ever. Never, ever. That is psychological repression. It's worse than any poverty that you can face in real life. And yet, we still face poverty. We need help. Yeah, I feel your pain, man. I'm sure the whole world is feeling it. Um, I'm trying to think how, what can we do next? I mean, this, this, and you saying like African nation, like the whole ECOWAS have never have stepped in yet. It's a shame, Michael. It's a shame that Ed, Nigeria Nigeria used to make the biggest part of ECOBO. We used to keep peace in Africa. Imagine how great we were. We used to be the UN of Africa. Now are we looking to Ghana or to Liberia to come help us out? Imagine where the government took us back to. That is a clear example of how bad the government has been. We that used to feed people. Now begging for food. Nigerian government turned Nigerians to beggars. Online, you see Nigerians everywhere. Please send me money. Please send me money. They are not beggars naturally. It was the government that abused us for so long and made us like that. It's shameful. We have so much. The same thing Dubai has is what we have. In excess, oil, crude, diamond, bitumen, everything. We got it. Gold. We got it all. But still we beg. And we're beggars. Beggars. Nigerians are literally beggars. Begging to feed, bro. Feed. To put food in their mouths. Literally feed. How can? How can? They look at the country blind, bro. One person stealing $300 billion. Michael, listen. $300 billion. The richest man in the world doesn't even have that. People have it in Nigeria. For no damn reason. For no damn reason. And they're still going to kill us on top of that. They never killed Boko Haram people. Boko Haram people still stressing out. They didn't kill Boko Haram. They took the same army to the street. The money we paid them for 
and they still killed us with our tax money. They tax us like crazy in Nigeria. Nothing works. In Nigeria, nothing works, bro. Nothing works. You have to bribe your way through every damn thing. That is not a way to lead. How can anybody be okay with that? So don't get it wrong. We're not asking for them to treat us better. End stars does not mean end police brutality alone. It means end it all. End it all. We want a new beginning. We want to rename our country. We might not even decide to be Nigeria anymore because Nigeria has never been ours. You know what I mean? It has never been for the people. We want a new country. We want to build up our country and make it like Wakanda. We want the real Wakanda. We want it in actuality that we Nigerians know that we can have it. If they give us a chance to do it. Do it. We're so smart. Yeah. So much. Look at where we've got it to in this world. Nigerians are all over the place. But then they won't let you function when you get home. They won't let you put that effort into your own country. They will frustrate you. They will try to kill you just because you exist. And for the stupid policemen that are shooting people, I don't blame you. You don't know better. You're illiterate. Because we're fighting for your ass. We're fighting for you people. This is not a selfish fight. It's a general fight. But you're siding on your enemy's side. The same thing they did with the colonialists. The colonialists were not enough to take over Africa. But Africa sold out. And we're fighting their own people on the side of the colonialists for what? For cola? For mirrors? This is not the, the youths are different. Nigerian youths are different. We're not taking shit. We want our country back and we want it now. It's a movement of the youth. Michael, any support we're getting is for us to take that country over, not for them. There's nothing they want to tell us that they could not do for 60 years. They're going to give us health care today that they didn't give us for 60 years. Is that what they want to tell me now? It's crazy, bro. So what you think this? Um, so the world has to step in and, and get those guys out because if yeah. you guys try to do this yourself, you, it's gonna be too many bloodshed. If I'm we didn't have burn. a reason to get, if we didn't have a reason to get them out before, now we have one. They've killed protesters. Do we don't have any other? We don't need any other reason. The world doesn't need any other reason. Right. That is the right. only reason we have right now. Yeah. They killed people already. Yes. They have to answer for it. They yeah. have to be charged for war crimes. Buari has to be held accountable. Someone has to be held accountable. Tinubu, all of them has to be probed. Probed. We will take our money back from them. How did they become rich and successful and wealthy? How did they become billionaires? They should have given us peanuts. We would have been happy. They should have just taken care of us. Steal our money, take care of us. You steal our money, you still oppress us. You still kill us. What is the ultimate sacrifice? Zillow or death? It's death. If we don't fight, you kill us. Hey, let's fight now. If you don't fight, you kill us. Let's scatter everything. Let's cuckoo scatter it. Maybe you started killing everybody, Abby. How long? Yeah, so I mean, it, it, will, it, will take, it will take the United Nations or ECOWAS or some big country like England or United States to step in and they got to get those guys out. I can, you guys cannot do this without weapons. It's going to be too, too many. It's going to be too many. Just it's going to be.